What's good everybody? It's Roll Easy here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over the solo money glitch and how to execute it without having a special vehicle warehouse or any special vehicle. Cuts down on a lot of time and money. Let's get into it right after this brief message. If you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my latest videos. If you're also interested in GTA 5 online modded accounts, go ahead and go to my latest upload and click on this link in the description. This will lead you to the website Digizani. This is the most trusted site to purchase cash and rank services on all platforms for GTA 5 Online at reasonable prices. Don't forget once you're done shopping, add the discount code EEZY to save some money at the end of your checkout. All right, so first of all, let me give a shout out to all the founders, uh, NHJ, uh, KJ over on Seven Sins, and uh, Gaming with Irish Demon actually posted a video on this method with the MOC, where you don't actually have to use a, uh, you know, a special vehicle warehouse. So what you want to do to get set up is actually store your oppressor in your MOC. Now, what you're going to need for this glitch, CEO office, office garage, mod shop, same stuff we've been needing before, a Benny's car to do. You need custom plates with this method, and you need the MOC with the oppressor inside of it, okay? It needs to be the personal vehicle storage, all right, guys? So not the weapon and vehicle workshop, the personal vehicle storage. That's where you want the oppressor in, all right? So once you've, once you've gotten all that set up, you basically just want to pull up your MOC over to your CEO office because we're trying to make this as quick and efficient as possible. So all I'm doing right now is I'm parking up my MOC right by the CEO office, okay? This is just so I can go in and out nice and quick and I don't have to be driving back and forth, you know, a long distance. So to start out with the glitch, you remember you guys need to actually get glitched out using the quick job method, okay? Now, with the quick job method, it's the same as before. Open up your phone, and you can do this from anywhere on the map. Go to play quick job, doomsday heist, alone, are you sure? I'm doing this in an invite only session. You can do this in a public invite only, whatever you want. Now, right when it says populating lobby in the bottom right, you're gonna see right about now, you wanna quickly press pause and go straight to the PlayStation store, or if you're on Xbox, that'd be the Xbox store. And once you're on this screen right here and the shark cards are all loading up, you want to sit on this screen for probably around 10 seconds. You might be able to do it for less time. You might be able to instantly go in and out. I'm not sure. All I know is I always sit on there for about 10 seconds and it seems to always work for me. Open up your interaction menu, check your style option, and it should be glitched out. Now, you want to go ahead and I signed in as a CEO. Uh, you can sign in as an MC or a CEO, but I like to be signed in while I'm doing this glitch. You never know. All right, you never know what's gonna happen, so I like to be signed in as something. So once you've gotten all glitched out, you're ready to go, you wanna just run over to your MOC and you wanna pull out the oppressor, okay? So just grab your oppressor right here and just simply press RT or R2 and you can drive it right out. And you'll see that it'll actually disappear and kick you off, okay? So kicked you off, disappeared, there we go. That's how we're actually getting glitched out now. Now you wanna go ahead and go into your office garage. The one that you are that you have the car that you want to dupe in, plus the place where you have all the LGs and stuff that you're overriding, okay? You want it to be full. You want this garage to be completely full, just like the old glitches, okay? So, I have my Benny's LG Retro Custom right here, sells for almost a million dollars. I have a custom plate on it already, you see it says glitching. I'm going to press right D-pad and I'm going to enter the mod shop. So once I go in the mod shop, you want to just modify anything on the vehicle. One little simple modification will do, okay? Anything. As long as you have a custom plate on there right now, you're good to go. It will not be a dirty dupe. I'm just going to go ahead and change the color of the plate, back out of all these menus, and hit exit vehicle. Once I hit exit vehicle, I'm just going to simply get right back in and then press right D-pad. When you hit right D-pad, you will immediately be exited back over into the CEO garage and you will see the dupe, okay? Just like that. So we're actually in the dupe. The original car is the other one right there. So what you want to do right now, and this is the method so that you don't have to use a Lester Heist text or anything. The car will always spawn right outside for you. This is what you have to do. So run over to the elevator. And right now, we're just going to go ahead and select another office garage to go into. So since I'm in office garage 2, I'm just going to select office garage 1. So obviously for this method, you want at least two CEO garages to be able to do this, but your car will automatically spawn every single time outside, I promise you. So now that I've entered into just another office garage, I'm going to go back to office garage two, which is the one where my dupes are in. Okay, so that's all you have to do. You just exit to a different garage and then come back to the original garage that you glitched out in and you got the car dupes. Okay, so there we go. The dupes are still there. That's perfectly fine. That's what you want to see. Dupe cars are right there. Okay, 
There's no different. That's all you want to see. This is all you want to do. Different garage and then back to the original. Now go to the elevator and all you want to do is hit exit to ground. Once you hit exit to ground, it is guaranteed that your car will be there. All you had to do is enter a different uh, garage and come back. Okay, and look at the map. See the car? The car is right there outside on the map. So no need to use a Lester Heist text or anything like that. No need for that whatsoever. That's the fix for it. So now that we have our dupe here with the different color plate on it, and it's a clean plate because it has a custom plate on it, you want to simply drive this right back over to the original garage where the dupe came from, and it's Office Garage 2, and it's a full garage, so you're going to have to accept that alert. And then once you go into the garage, you simply just want to write over one of your LG RH8s, your free ones that you, don't wear, that you don't care about. And boom, there we go. We have a dupe. So now to rinse and repeat, all I have to do is go outside and grab the oppressor out of the MOC, drive it out, and continue with the glitch like before. So I didn't want to make this a super long video. I wasn't feeling too well over the weekend. That's why I didn't post anything, but I wanted to get something out for you today. Don't know when this glitch will be patched, but probably doesn't have much more life in it. You know, this is already a workaround, so I guarantee you they're already working on something to fully patch this up. But I wanted to get this easy method out there for you guys. All right. Uh, nice and solo, easy, quick, and you can make a lot of money with it. All right. So that's going to be it for me, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. My name is Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out and have a great day.